In this video we will give 5 reasons why Jude did not quote the book of Enoch. Number 1. In Jude 1 14, Jude said he was quoting a prophecy from the real Enoch of the pre-flood era, the seventh from Adam. However, the real Enoch did not write the book of Enoch. How do we know this to be a fact? Because the book of Enoch is not one book, but a collection of text that was written over several centuries by different authors. There is significant internal evidence proving the book of Enoch was written during the period between the Old and New Testaments, and chapters 37 to 71 may have been created after the New Testament. Therefore, since the book of Enoch is not the product of the pre-flood Enoch, Jude could not have been quoting from that fake text, because Jude said he was quoting the real pre-flood Enoch. The book of Enoch lies about its authorship, hence the reason it is a pseudo-pigraphal text, but Jude did not buy into the lie. Number 2. The message of the book of Enoch, and the message of Jude are not an exact match. In Jude 1 15, Jude said Jesus was coming to convince or convict the ungodly, but in the book of Enoch, it says that Jesus is coming to destroy the ungodly, a completely different message. If you don't think they are a different message, then let me ask you this question, if you were the ungodly, would you rather have Christ, a. come to convince you, or b. come to destroy you? I am sure you will go with option A, thus proving there is a difference. Number 3. In both the book of Enoch and the epistle of Jude, we see the phrase, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints. However, the Lord in the book of Enoch is referencing, what appears to be God the Father landing on Mount Sinai and destroying the earth. However, Jude is referencing the second coming of Christ, who will land on the Mount of Olives, east of Jerusalem. Again, Jude and the book of Enoch have a different message and focus. So, Jude would not have quoted from the book of Enoch with this difference, because he would have confused a church already dealing with false teachers. Number 4. Jude would not have legitimized Jewish mythology. Since the apostles, and New Testament writers were a tight network, they were all well aware of the ministry activities, and writings of one another. So Jude, would have been well aware of Paul's repeated warnings to the church, to avoid fables and mythologies, as seen in Titus 1.14, 1 Timothy 1.4, and 2 Timothy 4.4. The book of Enoch is full of mythology, such as 4,500-foot giants, women turning into half-bird creatures, and the sun and moon being charioteers riding through portals in the sky. So Jude would not have legitimized the Book of Enoch, as some Book of Enoch advocates wrongfully claim. However, there is a legitimate possibility that Jude could have picked out a common oral tradition that was found in the Book of Enoch, to debunk the false teachers in the churches that were teaching from the Book of Enoch text. For example, Jude could have correctly quoted a common oral tradition of the prophecy from the legitimate Enoch of the pre-flood era that was also used by the writer of the fake book of Enoch as well. However, by Jude correctly quoting the prophecy of the legitimate Enoch, the man, not the book, Jude would have not only shown how the book of Enoch writer twisted this prophecy in error, but Jude could have also been using this common oral tradition inserted in the book of Enoch, to condemn the false teachers, that were teaching from the book of Enoch. Therefore, Jude was not endorsing the book of Enoch but actually teaching against it, and against false teachers using the book of Enoch text to confuse and lead astray the church. Number 5. God would not inspire Paul to teach against Jewish mythology, while having Jude advocating for that same Jewish mythology. Like the mythology that is definitely contained in the book of Enoch. Anyone that claims that Jude thought that the book of Enoch was a legitimate prophecy, or that he believed it was scripture, is dividing the message of the Bible, by pitting Jude against the Apostle Paul. God is not double-minded. So God would not have two of his ministers preach opposite messages to confuse the church. Therefore, Jude was not advocating for the book of Enoch, but like Paul, Jude, was likely preaching against it. Regardless if anyone believes that or not, 
the evidence points to the fact that Jude quoted an alternative source, and not the Book of Enoch, Jude's sources was likely some sort of oral tradition available during his time. Purely, for the purposes of an example, and to prove our point about Jude quoting an alternative source, we need only look to the Epistle of Barnabas, a non-canonical text, that was written sometime after 70 AD, and before 132 AD. This text also claims to have quoted Enoch, but this alleged quote of Enoch, found in the Epistle of Barnabas 4-3, cannot be found in the Book of Enoch. Where the writer of the Epistle of Barnabas sourced this quote from Enoch, is a mystery, but we know it was not the Book of Enoch that we have today. So, with that in mind, we can see that the Book of Enoch, is not the be-all, to end all source, for everything about Enoch. There were many sources of information floating around in the Second Temple period, that have not been discovered. Since Jude was an inspired writer, he could have received this prophecy of the real Enoch from direct inspiration, he could have received it from Christ, during his time of ministry on the earth, or Jude more likely, could have received the prophecy of Enoch from an alternative source, which the writers of the Book of Enoch, also copied from, but changed, which is why the prophecy of Enoch in the Book of Enoch, and Jude's quote of the real Enoch's prophecy are not the same. No one can make a 100% affirming statement that Jude quoted from the Book of Enoch, the evidence is not there to make that conclusion a firm statement of fact. However, we can come to a firm conclusion that Jude, would not have endorsed the mythological teachings, biblical contradictions, and Antichrist doctrines found in the Book of Enoch text. Like Paul, Jude would have taught against the Book of Enoch, and also against teachers that taught from that text. Therefore, Book of Enoch advocates, should take heed of Jude's message against false teachers in the church and the fate that they will suffer. If you would like to learn more about the errors found in the Book of Enoch, please consider purchasing our two books. The first is titled The Book of Enoch Debunked, and the second, is The Bible vs. The Book of Enoch, both are available from most major book retailers. See the description section for a link. We also have additional resources on our ministry website debunking the Book of Enoch, and other non-biblical topics, so we encourage you to visit refuted.com. If you like this video, we also have more like it on our channel, and you can also subscribe to receive notification of future videos on biblical topics. Until our next video, Maranatha.